welcome back. So we start off the day with a good amount of sunshine, just a few passing clouds as we made our way through late into the morning into early afternoon, becoming partly cloudy at times, but we cleared out just as the sun set and we've kept mainly clear skies through the rest of the evening. And here's a look at the high temperatures today. So that sunshine, even with a little bit of a northerly wind, did get us up into the mid to upper 70s. North Flat officially a high of 78 degrees, 77 at Broken Bow, mid 70s at Ogallala, Imperial, Lexington, and even up toward Thedford and Valentine into the mid 70s for high temperatures. That is about 8 degrees above where we should be this time of year. Here's a look at the temperatures outside right now that clear uh, the clear conditions we have are letting us cool off pretty quickly uh, currently at 50 at Broken Bow near that mark at Valentine 53 at North Plateau Galala and Imperial here's a look at the winds they're very, very light zero to five miles per hour mainly from a northerly direction so we got the clear skies light winds and where the wind is blowing it's mainly from a northerly direction so it is really cooling down especially up to our north most of North Dakota and South Dakota now in a freeze watch that goes from tomorrow evening through Friday morning. Uh, the good news for us is it's not stretching into Nebraska as of yet, so we're probably going to have to wait until our next cold spell before we have to deal with any freeze watches. Now, let's take a look at the surface map. We do have these uh, dual low pressure systems moving off to our east. Had one cold front come through a couple of days ago, but another stronger one will make its way through as we go through the next 12 hours or so. So this really cool high pressure system uh, from the Arctic will actually be right over us. We don't have our weather here, but temperatures will be a lot cooler than they have been, especially keeping in mind that we've been well above average for the last six weeks or so. So that cool high works its way in. The cold front makes its way through. Now by Thursday night into Friday morning, the back end of the front is over us, so we do have a chance of some showers. A lot of cloud cover for Friday that'll really keep us on the cool side, but as that high works off to the east, we get more of a southerly flow. So over the weekend, back to sunshine, and we warm up pretty nicely to start the next work week. Here's a look at the sky cast. As we make our way through the rest of the evening and into the overnight, we fall back through the 50s and into the 40s. Uh, most of us starting off in the lower 40s, mostly sunny skies to start, then partly cloudy skies later on to the day. Temperatures reaching the um, upper 50s to upper 60s, depending on where you are with the coolest conditions off to our north. We'll have more clouds up in that direction. And then our next chance of moisture comes Thursday night into Friday with uh, some shower chances. Lows will be into the mid to upper 30s, still dealing with some rain, uh, not really dealing with snow yet, but we're getting pretty close to that with these temperatures, but should be mainly rain. And then for Friday, lots of cloud cover and that will keep temperatures down with most of us into the mid to upper 40s. That's all we're going to do. So this is really cool air working its way in a strong cold front. As we go through Friday, the um, 70s and temperatures near 80 will move off to the east into the Midwest and Northeast. And this really cool air will be over us for Friday with that moisture chance. But it's not going to last very long because that cool air as we go through Saturday along with the moisture chances will work their way east and we're going to tap into some of this weather. We got unseasonably warm air ridge in the jet stream once again that's right now over the west coast. That combined with a good amount of sunshine will work its way over us as we finish out the weekend and start next week. We're going to warm up pretty nicely. So here's the extended forecast. 67 tomorrow, increase in clouds. Then for Friday, best chance in the morning of some rain, but cloudy skies all day, a high of 48. 66 on Saturday and 70 on Sunday with lots of sunshine. Then 73 Monday and all the way up to 76 on Tuesday. Still sunny skies, mostly sunny, a little breezy on Wednesday with a high of 66 as we stay dry. Just a little cooler, Kent. Yeah, just a little chilly to close out the week. Yeah, 48 is going to feel pretty yeah. cool. All right, thanks so much. New funding from the federal government is making mental health in schools a top priority. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act has put $280 million toward grant programs aimed at increasing